Hello everyone, this is Trisha Curry My Creation. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be sharing with you a project that we had to do for the Inspiration Collaboration. So last week that we had to do this. And for this week we had to make something, or we was able to make something that we could do with, with pretty much do whatever, whatever we wanted. And my um, inspiration for this week was Darby at Rejoice and Create. Was it Create and Rejoice? I can't remember. I'm sorry. But I will put her link down below in the description box. But, um, uh, I went with, uh, a project or a tutorial that she has on her channel, which I'll also link below for anybody who wants to, uh, try these. And they were these little gift bags. Now, I made six of them because you can make three out of one 12 by 12 sheet of paper. And so, what I like about these is that they open like this at the bottom. And I made this with a uh, paper that's not exactly thick cardstock, so you can make these with uh, um, thinner paper. Not like copy paper, though. I mean like scrapbook paper. And it opens like that, and it's, and they stand up. Well, if I opened it all the way up, they was, it would stand up like that. And you can put little treats in them. Let me see if I can open this up all the way. Like I said, I don't want to... Where's my bone folder? I don't want to, um... Like I said, you gotta be careful with these if you're using thin paper. I mean, they work as far as whatever you're gonna put in them. But when it comes to opening them up to like that, you have to be careful with it. I think you probably have to be careful with them to uh, even use with using cardstock. But that's how they work. And then it folds down like that. And this is going to be like a little um, gift uh, bag kit because I also uh, punch some of these or die cut some of these. Some of those, I'll take them out. And I made these, I die cut these with the die that I recently got in a swap from Lasagna. Uh, let's see. Uh, these dies right here from LDRS Creative. And a gilded oval die, oval labels. Three, it's a three die set, and I use that die right there. It is one and three, one point three nine inches high and two point two inches wide. So I um die cut six of these, and I was gonna put uh, stamp something on them, but then I said I know I just leave them blank. So. Uh, who are my party because they can stamp whatever they want on these or they can write something on them and on one side I didn't realize that after I was using the paper that because it was some of my scrap paper that it has like a um, texture on it one side so that's the front side and then but then I realized that on the next six I did um, I don't know if you can see those but you can see the texture on that side so I did die cut six of those And again, these are with the uh, uh, that that I got from in a lasagna swap, and I also put on some of these flowers. Uh, I got some of these ribbon flowers, and I also made some of my bows. And what it is is that you, ah, crap, I put it back in there. Okay, so what you do is that you can, um. stick them on like this and this is how you close them so like that stick them on right there I think I'm going to put some paper on some tape on here uh, double sided tape on here to hold them down but it would be nice if they was uh, popped out of two but I think I'm just going ahead and do the um put a piece of score tape on the back so they're gonna stick them down but anyway this is how you close them close like that I mean put it in there like that and then that's how you close the bag let me see I'm gonna open this back up and I'll show you let's see open it up and then you close it like this and then it goes like that so when they close it this put it behind there like that once this one this is glued down okay 
And then you can use these roses to, um, all these little things right here to decorate this or put them anywhere you want. So, I, I thought that was a cute idea. And, um, I think I might make some more of these little, um, uh, make a little kit as, a uh, um, a way to build my stash. And to give them swaps or actually use them. You know, these would be cute. So, I come up with this idea. Well, it wasn't my idea, but I got the inspiration from, uh, Darby. And um, I thought it was cute. So, I, again, I made six of these. I made some of this print, too. And again, this paper comes from the same paper stack. And, uh, I, again, I will link the tutorial for these down below in the description box. Um, but I thought this was a cute idea. And again, you can get three out of one 12 by 12 sheet of paper. Alright, so, um, I'm going to be packaging these up. Real nice. I'm gonna put them in that upside down because I'm going to close up like that. I'm gonna put some washi or something on there, and it's gonna be like that. I'm gonna put a topper on there, like so. So this is how they're gonna come once I get it finished packaging up. But this is gonna be like a little kit, a little um, treat bag kit. All right, so that uh, is my um, project for. This last week of the inspiration collaboration, this was a fun collaboration. Um, uh, so I thank C for hosting it, um, and it's uh, gonna be fun knowing who my partner is and see who gets this uh, package uh, along with the other things that we had to make. And uh, I hope they like this. Whoever gets this, um, like I said, it is a cute idea. I'm gonna make some more of these. Alright guys, so thank you all for watching. Y'all have a crafty day. Bye.